I'm Kate Browman. I'd like to share a few insights from our recent research on water use in agriculture, or as we like to say, on getting more crop per drop. Growing food uses up more water than any other human activity, so we have to think about water sustainability and food security together. Knowing how much water is used in agriculture is important, but understanding efficiency might be even more important. When we are using water, are we using it effectively? So we looked at global patterns of crop per drop, the amount of food produced per each liter of water evaporated or transpired. First, we looked at where water is used for agriculture, not just organized by country, but by climate. For wet and dry areas, we looked at rainwater and irrigation water consumption and identified the crops that are major water users. Staple cereals, wheat, corn, and rice, we grow a lot of these worldwide, so it's not surprising they consume a lot of water. Irrigation water in dry regions goes mostly to wheat, rice, and sugarcane. Then we moved beyond where water is used and looked at how crop per drop varies. And it turns out that for each crop, it varies a lot, not only between different climates, but even within a climate zone. That means that the least water productive systems are disproportionate freshwater consumers. In dry places, we found that about 40% of water is used to produce just 20% of food calories. But the good news about variation in crop per drop is that, in many cases, there's a water gap. And the potential impact of closing that water gap by increasing crop per drop is big. We calculated the impact of increasing crop per drop in dry places by just a little, bringing the places with the lowest crop per drop up to the 20th percentile. This would increase annual production on rain-fed croplands by enough to provide food for about 110 million people. Another way to think about that is that the total rain-fed food production in dry places in Africa could be increased by more than 10% without exploiting additional cropland. For irrigated crops, raising crop per drop would reduce water consumption by enough to meet the annual domestic water demands of nearly 1.4 billion people. So, there are lots of benefits to improving crop per drop. The right management activities to increase it will be different in different places. What our global study shows is that increasing crop per drop can be a really important leverage point for achieving both water sustainability and food security.